toys. Today we start with toys. We are at Brass Armadillo. It's an antique mall that we resell toys in. And have I got some toys for restocking. There in the big blue house. A modest restocking of Nerf guns. Uh, one of our biggest problems in life right now is that this booth right here is completely understocked with toys, specifically Nerf guns. And uh, we need to get more in there, but we've only had so much time to get them stocked. So we'll get a few in there today. Anything to pick up? Looks like there is. That's cool. But I have to go wait in line. Okay, there were two packages and they're both very large. Luckily, they're not super, super heavy. Otherwise, this would be very challenging, but they're pretty light and I got it. Van's already very close, so we're fine. Well, the Nerf gun wall looks a little bit more acceptable than it did. Still not fantastic, but I have got to sometime this month replace these shelves with more big ones because these aren't cutting it. They're not really displaying things the way I want. But, oh no, someone took my puzzle ball apart. All right, that was only about a third of the stuff that we needed to put in here for restocking. I've got a whole bunch more Nerf guns, but I need to put up another one of these boards. Was gonna do that today. Decided we didn't quite have time with everything else that we needed to get done, but uh, we're good. We got a lot of new stuff in here for the weekend, so should have a good weekend full of sales. Now, there's several Goodwill on this side of town I've been itching to go to lately, so let's do that. This Goodwill looks like it's pretty busy. Full parking lot, tons of people walking in and out of the door. Hopefully we didn't miss out on everything, but this has recently been one of the Goodwills that post-coronavirus has started putting good stuff in their lock boxes, so. Fingers crossed we find something. Oh my gosh, I'm shook. This is literally the epitome of Dallas. Gumball machine on a duck. Oh my God. There's a wired Xbox controller and a $40 Viewmaster. As far as games goes, it's almost all sports, pretty much entirely sports and then Jeopardy, but there is a GameCube hockey game, but is it in there? We'll probably take that. Holy crap, look at these. Whoa, is that a brass duck gumball machine? Right? Should probably hold on to that. <laughs> Is this supposed to be a SpongeBob glass? I mean, I guess so, but it looks a little weird. <laughs> There's a bunch of Pyrex in here, but it's all the like clear glass stuff. So it's not worth getting, but there is a lot of stuff to look at. These shelves are pretty packed. Ooh. I have a fascination with vintage furniture. I love the color on these. Um, it's a little bit damaged on the back there. But they're really pretty. I like them. This might be the coolest salt and pepper shakers I've ever seen. It's a toaster set. Pepper, salt. You take the bread out and you shake it. Oh my God, I love it. This is an iron board set. This is so cool. I don't know if it does the same thing though. I don't see the holes for the bottom piece, so it must just be, or maybe it's on the top of this and if you take that off, you'll see the holes. Oh my God, I love it. Well, I'm over in the bag toys and I think I've struck some luck. Got some brass dolls. I'm really worried that that's just a severed head. Nope, it's not. We got three complete dolls here, that's good. Let's see how much they are. 
I always drop these bag toys on the floor. Every single time. Never fails. All right. Stay. Good. Okay. 349. That's not bad. We'll go ahead and get that. It's a dollar a doll. That's pretty good. This is another one. It's got like a knockoff bread stall in there. That's interesting. That's a Chloe. I don't think that that's going to be worth it because it's essentially three dollars for one doll don't need to do that that's okay so this guy right here is pretty tempting but he's falling apart I and mean, it's gonna be a little bit hard to keep together i really want to get this because there's the off-brand lego charizard there's one of those block companies making a lot of pokemon stuff and like he's missing a couple pieces and the rest of this is actually lego and seven bucks i'm not gonna get it i want it but i'm not gonna get it so, so far it looks like I'm just going to be leaving with hockey game. You did better than me though. You ain't found nothing? <laughs> nothing. Not the greatest start in the world, but uh, you got a couple good things right on the way out. There's a couple more Goodwills on this side of town that I'd like to get to ASAP. Next up is a Goodwill that I usually get pretty excited to go to. It seems like the last several times we've been here, and it's found Tupperware and I've found Legos, stuff like that. So, fingers crossed. Got a little vintage coffee pot. Very cute, little brown lid. I don't know what brand it is. It's Corning, okay. Seems like a Corning dish. The coffee pots aren't really worth a ton. They're cool to look at though. What else do we have? So there's a lot going on here. First of all, Monopoly Pokemon. Probably have to look that up and just see if it's all there. I, I want one for my own personal collection. Not having a lot of faith that it'll all be there though. But then this Lego bin is awesome. Pretty sure it's slightly older. That's cool, but inside there's maybe one Lego. Then there's a couple of clips. And then there's some of these, and this is interesting because these are for very, very new guns. Like just came out not too long ago. So the fact those are already here is kind of wild. Let's take a look at this. Oh, that's beautiful. I might still just buy it. I think it's probably gonna be missing the Pokemon pieces. Yeah, it looks like it, but I can't help but want one so bad that I might just hold on to it till the next one shows up and try to piece it together. I don't know. I hate that. I hate buying board games thrift period tell me that doesn't need to be on my pokemon shelf wait a minute though oh, i'm so mad 40.99 40 dollars 99 cents 40 dollars and 99 cents for a half of a pokemon board game I mean, that might be what they go for online. I don't know, but I know I don't want to spend that. I guess we could stop and see what the color tag is. Maybe it'd be cheaper. I thought that was Kirby. It is not Kirby. Whoa. What? It's Molder and Scully? Oh, that's wild. I gotta look up if that's worth anything. I'm not expecting it to be worth anything, but that is super, super cool. It's like kind of eerily similar to them. Like not really that similar, but like enough that you're like, oh yeah, that's totally Mulder and Scully. All right, there's a few video games, but uh, not, ooh. Yes, yes, please, I do not have that. Love throwing a Wii game in the collection that I don't have. Madagascar carts, I've got that. Got it, got it. Some fresh prints, DVDs, cool. Okay, so they want $25 for this thing, and it sells for like $28 free shipping. That's probably the highest we're gonna see. $13, $16. 14 so not worth it but it's super cool to see it okay some off-brand dreamcast action cool 
nothing else really. Robo arm. There's a really interesting living room set here. It's already sold, but uh, it's like wicker cabinet there. And there's a little footrest coffee table thing over here. And it's kind of cool. Some matching chairs over here. It's a little bit patio furniture looking, but still really cool. Looks comfy enough. There's a few things to see in the movie section. Some of this is vinyl, but some of it's actually laser discs. So like Judge Dredd on laser discs, that's pretty tempting. I'm not trying to collect these. And they're almost never worth much, but there's a few more movies in there. So it's cool to see. But then, what else did I see? I absorbed some information while I walked by. Yes, Star Wars books, buying that. Not gonna buy the Indiana Jones ones, but that's cool. Oh, there's another. All right, let's get that. I sell a lot of these in our antique mall that we just visited. Almost every one of them, every Star Wars book I put in there sells pretty quick. I'm so mad. Why? Like scale of one to 10, I'm at a 20. Oh, really? There's a Pokemon Monopoly, like the vintage one over there. Yeah. Missing a bunch of pieces, but I'm still like, the box is there, a lot of it's there. We'll put it okay. on a Pokemon shelf, flip it over price tag, $40.99. I haven't looked it up on eBay. I, it might be worth that even, even maybe just the box for the, I don't know, but I was, I was excited. I was taking it home and then I was like, well, rip, big rip. That's so frustrating. Okay, let's do our due diligence, I guess. Let's look this bad boy up. See if you see a year on the bottom of it without spilling it out. I'm gonna just look it up. Uh, Pokemon Monopoly. Monopoly. All right, so that one comes up. There's one up for $25 that's complete. It's bid up to $25, so it's not even up for purchase. And then if you want to purchase one now that's sealed, 150 bucks. It's such a bummer. Such I bet bummer. I bet all this is there. I bet you it might have even came in with the Pokemon and someone snatched them. So we're in the car and I'm just kind of toying with going back inside and maybe buying it anyways, but it turns out uh, if you keep scrolling or if you rearrange your view on eBay, you can pretty much find that one near complete for 50, 60 bucks. Uh, it's a little bit difficult though because there is kind of a couple different editions of it. Honestly, uh, I mean, I'd be fine with this that I'm looking at here, you know, $35. $13 for shipping and, and I don't know why this one's as much cheaper than it is and everything I bet if I go to the description it's probably missing a few pieces uh, but you know I, I don't know I, I actually want one to play like we could play it on our new channel and make some great content I think um, so here's another one for parts Pokemon collectors edition monopoly board game pieces parts 1998 rare uh, it's just got it's it's honestly it's about like what we just saw in there just kind of bits so I'm, I'm feeling a little bit better knowing i can go buy most of it here's another one 34 dollars 20 dollars shipping so if i get really itchy for it to make a video here in the future i'll just go buy one of these 50 60 dollar ones so i don't feel so bad but ah if it were 20 dollars and i could have used the coupon or maybe even 30 dollars and use the coupon i probably got it but it's rip sucks all right, this should be the last Goodwill of the day, though I'm not promising nothing. I like this Goodwill a lot. It did me really well last time we came out here right before we left for our road trip. I got a big stack of games. It was awesome. But we'll see. Got quite a few Fire King plates here. It is such a beautiful set, honestly. Like, that gold rim is quite nice. I feel like that's probably not microwave safe, though. And I really need plates that are microwave safe because you never know, you gotta just throw them the cold pizza in the microwave every once in a while. There's some of the little bowls over here too. They're really cute. It's a whole bunch of nonsense. Minute to win it. Rip. So this is a beautiful find. It is a Corningware Wildflower cutting block. That's stunning and I really want it. Um, it's 549 which really isn't bad. I don't know how much they're worth but I don't also don't know if I'm gonna keep it or sell it. But either way we're getting it. I'm not finding a whole lot. I did come across a gambit that's pretty cool with karate kick action I guess. What that's, is what's happened there. 
And then this is like the remake of that classic red Pokemon book. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get it because it's just a dollar. I'm a little bit bummed though because it says poster inside and I can't, can't find any sign of it even having been there. So I'm sure it's just already been torn out, but I'm gonna go ahead and get it. Okay, some of these Halloween costumes are pretty lit. Like the hamburger and the Charizard. Move, Bumblebee, I wanna look at the Charizard. That's pretty cool. I guess it's just a Charmander, not a Charizard. But either way, it's cool. No, it has wings. It's definitely a Charizard. You can tell in just about every section that they've just spent some time cleaning off all the access stuff. This Goodwill is usually pretty well loaded, but some sort of monthly cleaning, spring cleaning has gone on and uh, they're in the midst of restocking. So we're just not gonna, we're not gonna find too much here today, but found a couple things. See, look, these toy bins are just empty. Just a bunch of nothing. There is a pony though. We're gonna do one more stop. We found another Goodwill on the way home. Pretty close to the house, at least in the right part of town. Let's check it out. Oh, we've got some nice looking club pots for $17. No thanks. Some white ones down here that are really pretty. I do like the white set a lot. Not in great shape, but that's okay. The club pans usually aren't in super great shape. They are still very great pans though. There is a whole roll of video games. Battlefront on Xbox, that's a probably. Be checking a few of these. What else? Star Trek. So something a little awkward just happened. I pulled my head in to look at these and turned, and there's this little <laughs> little figure trying to kiss me. <laughs> Get away! Some really pr pretty corning ore pieces here. It's a nice sized one. There's a big one down there, but it doesn't have its lid. They, uh, prices are a little bit high. This is really cool though. I really like the pattern on this. this some milk glass. It's really nice. I mean, I don't, I don't typically buy milk glass at all, but I do appreciate whenever it is that cool. This actually gave me a good idea. I see a bunch of vintage decanters that are super pretty. They don't sell for much at all. It'd be kind of cool to make a lamp out of them. And I always thought, well, it would be really hard because you'd have to drop the cord down in there and then like drill a hole in the glass. But um, this one didn't, so that might be kind of cool. Keep an eye out, we might try that. So we are at the old community fishing hole here and we stopped at McDonald's, grabbed a sandwich. And we're gonna sit and play Pokemon Go to wrap up our evening. That's what we're gonna do. There's so many Pokestops. So I want you to look at all these Pokestops that we're in the midst of. That's why we came here. We just you could we could walk one big lap and get all of these. If you would like to add Hannah and I on Pokemon Go, here's our numbers and uh, send us some Pokeballs because I run out of them constantly. I've always got like two Pokeballs. I'm pretty terrible at this. <laughs> Where'd I go? <laughs> So if you're wondering where Hannah is, oh surprise, check this out. Our haul, oh well, I guess I shouldn't put that back there. <laughs> Our haul today is not spectacular. I mean, there's some stuff I'm excited to show you, but compared to like yesterday's haul, which was like one of my favorite hauls in a long time, yeah. it kind of sucks. <laughs> Go back and watch yesterday's video if you haven't. But I think things will be made up for because we have not one, but two packages. Let me go ahead and tell you about them so I can set this one aside. We're not gonna open on this one today on this channel because this is from Nina in Colorado. You can see right across the top there written rubber duck. That means this package is designated for our other channel where we do Pokemon and board games and card games and things of that nature. So if you're interested in that, or if you're just interested in seeing what Nina sent, go check that channel out. A little teaser. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty pumped about that. Uh, I've been enjoying some Pokemon cards lately, so maybe that's what's in there. I don't know. Maybe it's rubber ducks. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Uh, and then this one is from Orange County Picker. Don't have to tell you where they're from. Uh, we'll be opening that as soon as we talk about all this stuff that we got at Thrift today. You only got two things, yeah? No, you got three. I got three. You got about as many as I did. All right, talk about that big thing first, because I, 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 I don't even really 
know what it is. Can I guess? Show the camera. I mean, it's not a, it's not a cutting board, right? Because it's like porcelain or something. It can be. It can be. I want to say that it's more specifically for like, like food prep things. Okay. So like you could cut on it. You could just like put it on top of your burners to like cover your stove and make it look pretty when you're done cooking. Okay. But like, you could definitely cut on that. It's not gonna be good for your knife. Right. But. Well, I don't. I didn't know if it'd be good for the surface. I don't know. But it's got a. It's got a corningware. Is that corningware? Yeah, art? it's the yeah. wildflower pattern. Okay, so that could match your wildflower corningware set. Yes. I've it's never seen that. Beautiful, those. and I love it. Um, I'm very tempted to keep it though. I really like it, and I don't come across these very often. I found one one time before, really? and it was way overpriced, so I didn't get it. This one was priced very nicely. Cool. All right. Um, I guess we'll just go back and forth. I got a Pokemon tin. And it's one of the skinny, skinnier profile ones. It still has the general shape as the regular tins you're familiar with, but it's skinny. So it's only my second one of those. I've got one on my Pokemon wall with Dragonair on it. Uh, Hannah found this. I don't even think you got a clip. Of I it. didn't. It was very quick. I just walked out the door with it. <laughs> we were, she paid for it. I did. <laughs> but we were walking out the door. She's like, oh, hey, here. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, she bought it last second. So that's cool. That's very neat. Very happy to put that on my shelf. Um, I know you guys know, but we've been buying up a lot of brat stalls, and uh, just regardless of their value, we're kind of building an army of them. Honestly, it's kind of like your video game obsession. I just kind of want to collect them right now. Yeah. And that's weird for me to say, because I don't collect many yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all the nonsense you see in the background of our videos is stuff I collect. Someone, Whoa, some, they chopped her hair. Someone's already gave that one an updo. Well, that's kind of cool. Yeah, these these aren't like we don't know these to be special or anything. But no, we, they're all new. We've got a we've basically got a box of them on the way, and we're just gonna kind of pile up some other ones in preparation for a project Hannah wants to do with them. So we're just pile. We've just got a, I've got a basket right there off screen, and Hannah's just kind of filling the basket up. That's what's going on there. It'll make sense in due time. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and talk about your last thing, and then I'll run through this. This is the coolest thing ever. I'm very excited about it. I have... Is this salt and pepper shaker? It's a salt and pepper shaker. Because look, you pull the bread out and it's salt. You pull the pepper. bread out. So this is... Well, I don't guess it matters which one, does it? I, I, I mean, think you're typically use... the free holes is pepper, but I guess it doesn't really uh, well, matter. That makes, well, I was going to say it makes sense, but don't... I don't know. Maybe you guys are different. Don't you use more salt than pepper usually? Or, well, I don't really sodium, use either. I don't know. I'm a basic white boy. I don't really... I got you though, so... Um, that's a salt and pepper shaker. They it's, just hang out together like that. It's so cool. Yeah, that's probably the one of the more neat salt and pepper shakers you brought home recently. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I literally just filled my newest set of salt and Are pepper shakers. Are you wanting shakers. to use that one? I kind of want to just funny. keep that one now. All right, well, let me run through the books and games that I got so that we can... Uh, we can talk about this package that we got. Just another one of these. I'll probably put this in my toy booth. I've got the original red one that it's based off of. Actually, you uh, flip that open and show them that a little bit. I'll grab the original. Classic collector's handbook. Should I have been on the prices right? This is the original one, I think, that it's trying to mimic. And I got this, one of this, not this one, but I got one of these like at Scholastic Book Fair, 1999. Very nice. Uh, and, you know, very nostalgic just for that. So it's on my Pokemon shelf. And clearly, this is just kind of a, a remake, a, a sequel. You know, they're they're hearkening to that for sure. So I don't know if I'll throw that one on my Pokemon shelf or not. Because I'm trying not to clutter it and just to keep the specific things. Like two days ago's episode, I think, I, I bought a Pokemon Tiger piece. A Tiger Electronics Pokemon mm -hmm. piece and stuff like that. So I don't need the extra stuff. But I do have it if I want it. So that's pretty cool. It's kind of neat to actually see them side by side, I think. Yeah. Because this one, what's the date on this? Probably last couple of years. This mm -hmm. one's significantly thicker, too. Yeah, so well, it's, it, it's not the same stuff. In, it is like the same content, but like revamped art. Um, see here, you hold that one open. Just flip to a page. This, I mean, this is what I remember, right? And then show them that. And it's just, it's all the same info, just... It's very fancy. Just modernized artwork, but I am curious what the date on it is. 2017. 1999, 2017. Wow. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I bought two Star Wars books. And I think they're, yeah, they're, they're the movie books. They're the novelizations of the movies, but that's cool. Too bad the third one wasn't there because 
We sell a lot of Star Wars books in our antique malls, but even more so when they're sets. Sets do better. When we put the sets together and sell them, people go nuts for them. Four video games today, all four going straight in the collection because I didn't have any of them. NHL 06 for the GameCube. Let's go. Star Wars Battlefront did not have uh, the Xbox one. I have all of them on PlayStation 2. Heroes of the Pacific. I think I've got it on like Wii or something. And then this is a game I've never even seen. And Hannah will probably have fun with this. Word Jong Party. I play a lot of mobile games that are word stuff. Yeah, she does a lot of that. It helps me justify. It's like, I'm, I'm being smart. Just, <laughs> I'm playing, but sh I'm smart. I guess you can comment below if you want to before we move on. What was your favorite thing that we got at the thrift today? I don't know. What was yours? Oh, I'm really torn between the toaster and the table. The... the the prep board, because I really like this prep board. The toaster board. is cool, but, but that toaster is dope. But this is, I don't know, like, the, a lot of people have cool sets of Tupperware, or not Tupperware, Corningware. That was an honest mistake, right? Yeah, totally. But, <laughs> but not, I don't think a lot of people are going to have the matching this for their yeah. set, so that's pretty cool. Well, the problem is, is that I have a bread pan. It's the only piece of Corningware that I kept, and it's like the bird friendship pattern thing. And this is the wildflower. So do I keep the wildflower now and get rid of the birds? You're asking too many questions for me. I don't know. You're making my head hurt. I Whatever you I, want to do, darling. I guess I have to have to move on to this because this is a rarer piece. Just because. I want to show you the instructions left for your boy on the package. It is on camera ready. That's great. I left like suture lines for me to cut. And it says be careful. <laughs> I'll cut along the lines. I don't know about the careful part. He probably specifically meant do not use these scissors. Probably. <laughs> but... But okay. it's your boy. It's your boy. Okay. I'm pretty excited about this. It's nice and heavy. And there's a note on top. Woo! Hold these. Ooh. Okay. First of all, he's got postcard with his info. That's pretty cool. I need to be that fancy. Orange County Picker, rare, vintage, peculiar. Thank you for your support. We strive to provide, so this is pretty cool. Uh, check out my man's, and or woman, I don't know. <laughs> we haven't uh, got that far yet. <laughs> eBay store here. There's the link, Orange County, California Picker. I bet you throw, comment below, you throw one of those in with every sale, because that's pretty awesome. We were right, John. John. <laughs> Dallas and Hannah, I will read this at the end, so we don't spoil anything. Ooh! Yes! Um, I love that. I might have to give this to my mother. I grew up listening to that soundtrack on oh, repeat because really? my mother and my stepfather it was their favorite thing. Um, it was a good start. I, I kind of want to keep like very specific records and have like a, a what do you what do you call the wall with the little things all put on it? A like collage wall, I guess. Sure. <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. I want to have like a nice wall of like records that are very nice. Thank you. Check this out. Speed Racer DVD set. That's awesome. Uh, Thunderbirds Trapped in the Sky VHS. Oh, nice. Look at this. I don't have this. I don't recognize it at all. FIFA 98 PlayStation 1. FIFA. We'll put that right with those other games. And then, see, this is actually pretty good. Have we ever watched Heroes together? No. Season 1. Every time we talk about starting something together like that, like, we never have Season 1. So we might have to watch that together. I was a huge fan. I was just the right age, I think, when it was new. Just out of high school or right around then. So me and my boss, actually, at the time, um, I was cleaning windows for a living. Well, I was working for a janitorial service, and I had lots of duties, lots of general cleanup, but mostly windows. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. You were a janitor that had a lot of duties? Shut up. Uh, and we, we would actually, every whatever day it came on Thursday or something, we'd go take a lunch break together, me and my boss, and we'd watch it. That's awesome. True story. Uh, here's two things for unwrapping. There's probably... This has got really the, awesome paper on it. And go. Woo! There's two of them! Spoilers, I opened mine faster! Yeah, you were way better <laughs> at that. Um, two Minecraft torches. That's so great, because now I only need like four more. I hang these in my toy booths, and it's like my signature thing. Until we open and, another toy booth, then we need like 80 more. Well, yeah, <laughs> but I'm, I'm even thinking about, uh, ooh, that one's, that one's got batteries. That one does not. Um, I'm thinking about even doing some modifications and putting my own bright lights in them, like it's a big set of Christmas lights. Love it. I think that'd be fun. I've probably said that before. I don't know. <sighs> oh, do you see what I see? I do. 
Well, now my heart hurts. Okay. <laughs> a drinker with a writing problem. A wine lover's retrospective. Interesting. Well, I'm a writer without a drinking problem. I went to school for writing. My whole focus has been writing. Everything that got me into the camera work I did was through writing. So I will give this a thumb through, but I'm not much of a wine drinker. So, may, I mean, maybe I could... It's kind of cool, though. Learn something. Yeah, it's got some cool art. It's got a lot of... Uh, Oh, I see what's going on. It's got quotes on a lot of pages from writers, and the last three writers I just saw had drinking problems. So maybe, ah. maybe that's what that is. I don't know. We'll see. I'll thumb through it. Now this next one, pumped, pumped. Oh no! But you don't get to see what's in here. Neither do I. I you know what I that peek? rattle is. Yeah. No. No peeking? You know what it is. It says for the new <laughs> channel, so that's gonna go on Rubber Duck. So Rubber Duck Yellow is the name of our new channel. Uh, the links are below. Links are usually at the end of every video. I guess we're doing that video now. <laughs> we're going to do it real soon because that whole other box is for it too. Okay, now it looks like we've got some McDonald's toys, etc. Cool. Show the, go show the camera these. I'll hand them to you. Got a minion. Here's another one. Hello Kitty as a little mermaid. World's smallest. It's a magic eight ball. <gasps> got and like regular, like regular magic eight balls, it doesn't work. I never get those That's to funny. work. funny. I can usually get them to work. You gotta, you gotta treat them just right. Are those like tiny Tinkerbell uh, game pieces? I don't know. Something. Hold on. They're, they're like Disney princesses. Here's Ariel. That's Cinderella. So that's pretty cool. We got a Wookie. Take that. We got a turtle. And we've got, <sighs> we've got the weirdest turtle toy I've ever seen in my life. Uh, John, either you or someone, I'm someone's gonna let, have to let us know what that is because I don't know. I'm kind of grossed out by it. <laughs> there, well, let, let me ask you guys a question. This, John, this actually, his name is John, right? Yes. Don't let me call him something wrong the whole video. Orange County Picker, you guys are gonna have to tell me, should I be collecting Ninja Turtles? Listen, and don't just jump on the yes button if you're into that. Our new channel, we're gonna do Power Ranger content, and we'd love to do some turtle content, but like, I'm not as nostalgic for turtles as I am rangers, just baseline. Yeah. So like, I, I've had a bunch of Ninja Turtles. I had a whole shelf and just kind of rotated stuff in and out. But I, I got rid of most of it and I've had no regrets about it, but it would look cool next, I don't know. I guess I am having regrets if I'm saying that. But like, that looks special. I have no idea what you are, bro. He's got, he looks like a terrapin instead of a turtle. He's very interesting. Um, here's my answer to your question. I am more nostalgic for turtles than I am Power Rangers. So you say yes? I feel like I don't I don't wanna go crazy and have like every single turtle ever yeah. ever made because there's too many of them. And they all have weapons and they all have vehicles yes. and yeah, yeah. So but I think that like that that staple vintage set would be really cool. So we should just get a cool set. Yeah. Of them, maybe. Okay, I see what you're saying. Like a well, you healthy guys, amount. Yeah, will you guys comment below, let us know what you think. Because I know for a long time, at the earliest part of our channel, some of you earliest watchers, you were, guys were really into that toy stuff. Because uh, we would just keep some of the coolest stuff we brought home. And that's where my collection that's on the game room that you see in the background of some of our videos came from. And it's like we have the space to expand a little. And so I'm kind of looking for things to fill the current space we have empty. And maybe we'll go back to having a Ninja Turtle shelf. I don't know. Comment below, let us know if you'd like to see that. Well, what was your favorite thing out of that box? Oh my goodness, I don't remember <laughs> Look, anymore. This was mine. Probably, because I'm very curious what's in that. But I think this, this really? is really cool. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what's actually quite coincidental. Is it, a, it is a vinyl, that's yeah. not, yeah, yeah, okay. We've been looking at a lot of laser discs lately. Okay, definitely a vinyl. So, I've got all the audio equipment for playing back vinyl except for a, a record player so we see them at thrift stores and i know enough about them to change needles or see if the needles are good and all that stuff so we have been talking about getting a record player and getting the occasional vinyl so that might be just a good enough reason to go finally get that record player so we've passed up a few of them that haven't been in great condition so maybe we'll eventually find a good one you taped it shut because you <laughs> what you're peeking i'm actually <laughs> equally excited about that small deck box i don't have any of that little it might be just big enough for my energy cards. Well, that'd be a good I'm use. so stressed out. How do, I, how do we end the video now? Uh, my favorite's going to be this. 
I mean, it might not even be Pokemon. It might be some other random. I don't know. That it would might, be equally cool. It could be baseball. I don't know what's in it. But we're going to find out on our other channel. So go subscribe to that. Uh, links below, etc. Or wait to the end of the video. You can click on it. So hold on a second before we wrap up this video. I'm a terrible human being because the excitement over what could be in these packages makes me act like a crazy person. And sometimes I do things like forget to read notes. So let's read the note that John sent real quick. Uh, Dallas, because it's the best part. Why would I? I'm sorry. Okay, shame on my dojo. Greetings from Southern California, Orange County to be specific, Anaheim to be very specific. I've been selling on eBay since 97, since the beginning. I believe I was told by someone at eBay that I was one of the first 500 people on the platform. That's wild. I was a part-time seller off and on for years, selling rare books as a hobby and amassing a beautiful collection. I'm excited about that, to, be, to have started that early on eBay. I don't think I knew what eBay was until well into high school, so 2000. Four, maybe uh, before I even knew what it was uh, in January I was laid off from a corporate executive marketing job due to COVID that same night I decided to go all in as a reseller thrifting by day and shooting and listing by night I've been selling my rare book collection to help back my venture I have books worth 10k to 25k first edition signed Harry Potter Philosopher's Stone anyone oh, I'd love to see it you're gonna have to maybe join the discord and share a picture of that I'd love to see it um, unless it's just gone and you've burnt all the pictures of it because I'd be sad to let that one go. That would be tough. Uh, but I'd be very interested to hear what other kind of books you have in your collection. I thought I'd send a mystery box of random stuff. These items I've sourced and do not fit in my eBay store. With things like this, I usually place them in a large bucket with other misfit toys. Uh, once the Home Depot five-gallon bucket is full, I give them to a family down the street who has a bunch of kids. Well, I'm sorry to take away from the kids, but you have made me a happy man. I picked out a few things from the bucket for you guys to add to your collection to, or to, and to pay it forward. Uh, peace. Orange County Picker. P.S. You can read and show on camera. That is fine with me. My book is also included. Oh, you wrote that book. Grab it. No way. I didn't, I, um, I didn't read the name of the author on the cover. It's right here on oh. top by the video games. No way. Oh, that's well, awesome. I'm keep, did you sign it for me? Yeah, there was a Was there, there was a signature? A... <laughs> that's awesome. That's amazing. I, uh, I, I'd love to, to chat with you a little bit, John. I, um, I like what you're into. I really do. I appreciate that. Thank you for including that note. That will go in our box full of notes from uh, people who have sent us stuff, and uh, I'll cherish this. I don't have much of a library of my own, but... Uh, we have a little, we have a few, we are our favorite books, our Harry Potter books, our other favorite childhood books and stuff. So we'll put that on the shelf. Thank you. Now let's get back to the video where I was dumber, not knowing that I'd missed the note. Okay. Okay. Bye. Now, before we get out of here, do me a couple favors, go over to our public discord, join that, come chat with us. There's a whole section to chat about movies. There's a whole section to chat about whatever you found at the thrift store, et cetera, et cetera. It's a place where many members, I think we're up to about a thousand members now, a little less. But we're climbing to the thousand members over on it. So come over. Maybe you'll be the thousand member. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be fun. Also, before we go, check out our merch store, Tendostrash.com. We're selling these new shirts with the hashtags on them. Say so hashtag Trash Life. And uh, before our trip, we were doing a series where uh, uh, we were doing a regular recurring segment in our series where we checked out you guys' uh, thrift finds. And we just got back from our trip. We haven't been able to sit down and do that. But we're going to be doing a lot of that. Um, we'll be incorporating that into our videos in a lot of ways, uh, and there'll be lots of cool things that we're going to ask you guys to hashtag in the future on our social media posts with that hashtag. Uh, but if you want to join our hashtag trash life movement, it's not a movement. <laughs> it's just a cool thing we're doing. Uh, you can go over there and check out those shirts, uh, tenostrash.com. Check that out. And other than that, just know that we post daily videos here on this channel. So you can definitely come back tomorrow and hang out with us then. And until then, guys, we appreciate you, and peace out.